Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now if you've been watching my channel, you probably realize that I greatly enjoy Two Go Systems products. Two Go Systems products are products that I came across a few years back and since that time I've come to greatly trust and enjoy them. If you are familiar with Two Go Systems, you probably already realize that most of their gear is a multi-use piece of equipment. For example, if you get a shelter system, oftentimes it'll double either as a tarp as a bivy sack, maybe a ground sheet. Sometimes you can convert their systems into ponchos. In this case today, we're gonna look at their actual sleep systems. Now the Tugo system sleep systems have a number of different products to look at depending on exactly what you want. And at this point, I've tested most of them. Everything from the lightest weight to the heaviest weight, all sorts of different seasons, different types of equipment that's really useful and I've come to extremely trust it. So as we get into this, I'm going to talk about each one of the pieces of gear in general, how they can be used, the different functions, the different materials. So there's a few products in here we've taken a look at in the past and a few that you have not seen on my channel just yet. But if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to talk about, do me a favor. Stay tuned. So as I mentioned, we are going to talk about two go systems sleep systems and a bunch of different ranges of products. So we are first going to start with what I'd say is the lightest weight products and work all the way up through the heaviest duty products. So here I have two products in my hand. We've actually taken a look at these in the past. This is the Trifecta and the Trifecta XL. Now these Trifectas are a good quality piece of gear, multi-use piece of gear, and can really be a good quality addition to most people's kit. Now whether or not you want to use these as a standalone sleep system, that's entirely up to you. These would basically give you roughly around 18 degrees of increased warmth depending on time of year, location, wind-driven situations, things like that, but basically ballpark around 18 degrees Fahrenheit of increased temperature. So to me, the Trifecta, more so than the XL, is a good quality piece of gear that you can bring with you in most backpacking, camping, or hiking situations if you want an improvised shelter. The reason why I say the regular version versus the XL, it's just a little more compact. And if you had to use this as an improvised sleeping bag, there's a lot less material. So the ability to warm up the interior of this system would work a little bit better, in my opinion, than the XL. But again, you could use this as a ground bivy. You could use it to put your gear inside, maybe your hammock camping and you just want a place to put your gear. You can use this as a tarp ground sheet, a number of different uses, an improvised shelter, definitely in a number of different ways. So good quality product and a multi-use product coming from Tugo Systems. Now again, reasonably compact, but also lightweight products. So the Trifecta rings in around 13.9 ounces and the XL at about 20.2. So a little more compact, a little bit lighter, a little bit larger depending on what you're trying to do. Now similar to the Trifecta, but a little bit different, this is the Velar. So comparing the Velar to the Trifecta, here you'll see the Velar even a little bit smaller and also a little bit lighter at 12.1 ounces. The Velar also with similar features, but this actually has a bug net. So I found for me, this has been a great option as an improvised sleep system, where if I'm sleeping directly on the ground, I can slide a pad on the inside of this. I can put my sleeping bag on the inside, lay on the ground and it's perfect. I don't need a ground sheet. I don't need anything else to protect me. So in different situations, you can use these pieces of gear differently. This also, if you really had to, you could use in a hammock. Say for example, you wanted a lightweight hammock. You just wanted to slip inside this, get yourself a little extra warmth, but also have a bug net over your face. This works very well. So again, just multi-use, multi-purpose items, and you can use these in a multitude of different scenarios. So whether you're on the ground, you're in a tent, you just want a place for your gear, you're in a hammock, it doesn't matter. These two-go systems, pieces of equipment are excellent and you can use them in a multitude of different ways. So now getting into a couple of products you have not seen on my channel yet. 
These are the hybrid field blankets. So these field blankets are excellent. One of the newest sleep systems from Two Go Systems. And you'll see there are two of them. This one here, the smaller, this is a lighter weight, 60 grams per square meter. This one here, heavier at 120 grams per square meter. So basically double the fill in a way. Now these are synthetic insulation. They have a beautiful fabric, extremely comfortable. I greatly enjoy these. These have been a wonderful product and I've used them a number of times throughout this past backpacking and camping season. So real quick, I have a little bit of footage to roll in. Why don't we just take a brief look at that footage so you can get an understanding of these hybrid field blankets. So tonight I have two sleeping bags with me. They're not actually sleeping bags. Actually, they're more like blankets, these Tugo Systems blankets here. Now, these are a hybrid system, so you do have the ability to use these a number of different ways. I'm going to use them basically tonight just as a blanket. And I'm not sure which one I'm going to need. Now, there's two models here, the one with the tan on the inside. This one here is 60 grams per square meter, and the gray on the inside is 120. Now, yes, in terms of grams and weight per unit this particular model is heavier but it does not necessarily mean it's double as warm so basically these have a comfort rating around the 50 40 degree mark so depending on either one so if you had the tan it would be roughly 50 degrees and with the gray here 40 degrees but in essence i'm not sure what it's going to be like to use either one of them this might even be too warm for all I know. But these Two Go Systems quilts are definitely an excellent lineup to the Two Go Systems quilt lineup. And I'll talk more about that. So you'll notice here that I did end up sleeping in the heavier of the two blankets. Now I used both of them for a while. I actually have the thinner one up here over my head. Um, so I was using both of them. I had one underneath me and one on top. I think I had the thinner one underneath me and then the thicker one on top, using them like blankets. But in the middle of the night, I kind of woke up and when I got back in, I realized that the way I was doing it wasn't really much of a test of either one of these and it didn't give me any benchmark to go by and really didn't give me any data points that was useful for either one of these. So I changed uh, my method I ended up zipping this up completely. So you'll notice here, I do have the zipper here run kind of on the top of this. Everything's all foggy this morning. There's not much I can do. It's just between the rain and humidity coming in. So it's a little hard to see and a little bit foggy. But anyway, um, I want to say, and I looked at my thermometer last night, but I don't know if I trusted it. It said it was in the like mid-60s. I would say it was in the mid 50s if I really had to guess, like 53 to 55 ish. Uh, it's just what it felt like to me, but who knows? Maybe it was really in the 60s. Um, but uh, this was definitely comfortable, and I would say the appropriate weight. Um, I don't think I would have wanted any lighter. It's, I wasn't cold, um, but I was where I feel as though if I was any colder or cooler that I would have wanted something more so at this point um, you know I'm only wearing uh, really my underwear I don't have any clothing on I could certainly layer up um, but having this in this temperature the thicker so the 120 uh, gram per square meter I think was the right choice so I'm definitely happy with this. It was comfortable. Uh, this is a great material. I greatly like the way it feels. It's comfortable, feels good uh, to the touch. It's a nice piece. I love Two Go Systems, uh, Sleep Systems. I think they do a great job. And this is just another wonderful addition to their collection. So these blankets are really cool, good multi-purpose, useful pieces of kit. Um, good for a blanket, good for a quilt, good for an underquilt good for a sleeping bag just work out absolutely perfect so another great job by two go systems so we have some fairly wonderful sleeping arrangements here beautiful sandy beachy campsite right on the river we have our tent set up now I here have my big Agnes tent uh, this is called the triangle mountain uh, it's an interesting tent 
haven't used it too many times really only on one other trip um, so nice to get it out here but inside here you will see um, we have this beautiful setup and for tonight I'm going to be using these two go systems field blankets so these are called the hybrid field blankets now again two different weights so the tan we have a 60 gram per cubic meter and then the gray here is 120 grams per cubic meter so two different weights now again it doesn't necessarily mean that one's double the warmth from the other I think these are going to be a perfect option for a night tonight we're going to get into the I'd call it 50 degree range Fahrenheit um, so these should be about perfect and so I'm going to be using the lighter one I'm gonna let my son have the warmer one now we could even conceivably zip these together that's the other thing about these so you can use these standalone you can zip them up like a sleeping bag you can use them like a blanket you can actually zip them together so if we had to I would probably put the warmer one maybe on top huh, hard to say I mean we have mattress pads so um, you know that should help keep us warm on the underside we're not even gonna be cold I and mean, I think these are gonna be about perfect for a night like tonight and so I'm very excited about this I'm really looking forward to this night's sleep I think it's gonna be very comfortable these have just a little bit of crunch to them um, not a big deal it's basically just the inner lining these have the uh, reflective interior on the inside so make just a little bit of noise but they're comfortable I've used them before and I'm looking forward to getting another good night's sleep using these two go systems hybrid field blankets how'd you sleep were you warm were you warm last night a lot better than the night before Nice. The blanket keep you warm? Yes, a lot warmer. Good. I think it helped with it zipped up better, right? Yeah. A little bit. Nice. And we sealed up the feet too, right? Yep. Yeah. Let's keep the feet. Mm hmm. I like this part of the bed. Was it soft on the inside? Yeah, it's soft. Feel comfy? Nice. No, that's this isn't it. It's this one. Um, this one. This is the same thing. It is? Yeah. This is more like squishy. Mine isn't that. I mean, this is should be the same. They're two different. Two different. Yours is warmer, thicker, a little bit thicker. Nice. Should we get up? Yes. You ready? Yes. All right. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm tired. Ready to go home? Yeah. So now that you've seen some of that field footage, let's talk about some basic specifications. So on the 60 gram per square meter, this weighs in at 1.98 pounds and is good down to around 55 degrees Fahrenheit. And on the 120 grams per square meter, this rings in around 2.31 pounds and is good down to around 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So again, these aren't gonna be winter options. These are good, I would say, maybe late spring, summer, and early fall options, but it also just a multi-purpose piece of gear. So for example, you can use these as a sleeping bag. You can use them as a blanket. I've used these as under quilts. You can zip them together and make an oversized sleeping bag. If you wanted to, I believe these are gonna be available to snap into a future poncho option from Two Go Systems. So everything from an underquilt for a hammock system through sleeping bags and a poncho liner, Two Go Systems really thinks outside of the box. They make good, high quality gear, wonderfully comfortable in the case of this hybrid field blanket and just something worth paying attention to. So the idea that when you buy one of their products, you'll have it for a multitude of different purposes. Flexibility, versatility, and two-go systems ways, that's why I greatly enjoy and trust their products. Now, hands down, without a doubt, my most trusted piece of two-go systems gear is the Shift Hybrid Quilt. The Shift Hybrid Quilt is beautiful, 800 fill power down, a quality quilt, sleeping bag, blanket, under quilt, you can wear it. This actually has armholes if you want to wear this as a garment. 
unbelievable piece of equipment and no doubt my most trusted and gone to piece of equipment. I use this very regularly. I use it pretty much through almost every backpacking season. I use this as a sleeping bag. I use it as a quilt, but most specifically and most regularly, I've been using this as an underquilt for my hammock system. So when I really wanna go lightweight, I'll bring my most lightweight hammock. I'll bring this and pack it all in. It's nice, compact, lightweight, plenty warm. This is good to about 15 degrees Fahrenheit. So again, maybe you're not gonna use this in the deep winter, but you can use this for a bulk of your backpacking activities. So you get one piece of gear. It's good for all seasons. It's very flexible and versatile. This to me is just really about perfect. When you feel the interior and how it feels against your skin, it's soft, it's comfortable, it's light. It packs up well. It's been plenty durable. I love the way it looks. They have different fabric choices and I really like the color options. So to me, again, Two Go Systems is really earning my trust, especially with this Shift Hybrid Quilt. Now the Shift Hybrid Quilt packs up nicely. It rings in around 1.68 pounds. Now that is the thing with Two Go Systems equipment. It's gonna be slightly heavier because on the inside, on a lot of these products, you end up with a Tyvek layer. Now that is also the case for the field blanket. That's the case here with the Shift Hybrid Quilt. And that's also the case with the next product we're gonna look at. So each one of their products has a thin layer of a Tyvek reflective layer. That helps for a couple of different reasons cuts down on wind, adds reflectivity for your body heat to reflect back towards you and adds additional thermal value over some other comparable products. But the other thing is it makes a little bit of a barrier. So even if your system was to get slightly wet, you almost have a backup where that thin layer on the inside still capable of reflecting heat back at you. It's a little bit of a safety feature. And finally, the therm. This is the largest sleep system from Tugo Systems. This is slightly heavy at 3.19 pounds, but this is good to negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So when you get into that deep winter, when you need something that's gonna really give you quality protection and you have to up the ante a little bit, this therm to me would be the way to go. Now it has a snap-in hood. It has a bunch of different options, so again, you can use it as a blanket, you can use it as a sleeping bag, you can use it as an underquilt. This has a suspension system built right into it. You can connect it to your hammock. You can use this in a multitude of different ways. So again, if you use this in combination with any one of the Tyvek liners, for example, if you use the Trifecta or if you use the Velar, gaining an additional 18 degrees roughly, you're talking about really going into the depth of winter with some good overall safety and protection. Now this is synthetic, so it's not a down. So it has a little more heft, a little more volume, but it's also a little bit better just in case it gets wet. Now I don't usually put myself in a situation to get wet, but in the winter time, you never really know. Sometimes if you're around snow, it could potentially melt. There's a lot of condensation, a number of different reasons why having something that's good in the wet would definitely be advantageous. That's certainly the case here with this therm from Two Go Systems. So, all right, guys, there you have it. A brief overview and look at the different Two Go Systems sleep systems. Obviously, quite a variety depending on exactly what you're looking for. Now, I use all of these in different combinations. I use them in different scenarios and at different times of the year. So having a comprehensive list of equipment and the capability for you to get your hands on these is definitely a plus. So that mentality of multi-use gear, multi-purpose gear, and the fact that you can use these for a ton of different things. When you buy one of these products, you're buying quality, but you're also buying versatility. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.